Hey guys, what's going on? It's Trevor from Team Monolith here, and today I'm just bringing you a quick little setup video for um, my settings that I use for OBS. Um, OBS is free. I'll leave a link in the description where you guys can download it. Um, basically, what you're going to want to do first is you're going to want to go to your encoding. Um, I usually have my max bitrate about 1200 just because I don't have the best upload speed. Um, uh, use um, CBR, which is constant bitrate. You don't want variable because variable is make makes it so your quality fluctuates, which is not something you want to do. Next, you want to go, you want to set it to do your live stream. Um, if you're doing it through Twitch, you do it through Twitch, but you can pick all your other stuff. Um, your stream key, which you will find at, um, I can't show you mine, but, uh, you would just go ahead and you would go to Twitch and you would click, um, I'll just sort of bring you up to where I would find it. Um, if I was to go to my thing and then go to this, if I go to my dashboard, uh, click the streaming apps and it will show your key you know what we can just do it and I'll just block out my key anyways it'll go right here and you say show key it'll pop up here then you'll copy and paste it and you'll paste it into here uh, you should have auto reconnect uh, your auto reconnect timeout should be about 10 seconds that's fine um, if you want to save to file you you would click this and you would set up wherever you want that to go. Uh, note that it will be in uh, MP4 file. Uh, so you, if you are going to use uh, Sony Vegas, you will have to download a codec. But there are videos out there on that. And basically you just look for the QuickTime uh, plugin for that and you just put it into that. But anyways, uh, don't save my stuff because my stuff will be saved there. Um, my base resolution is obviously what you have you want to ca capture your monitor you want to pick whatever um, whatever card you have if you have two some people do then you pick whichever one you feel like doing um, the resolution the resolution downscale I have mine 1.50 so that I, I stream at 720 which I mean you can have none and you can stream at full 1080 but that's gonna go through a lot of bandwidth um, I have this for this so I have the best detail instead of the fastest just because I feel like that's probably better for you to do uh, I set my FPS limit at 30 and if you're playing a f full screen you're going to want to have uh, arrow on but if you're using monitor capture which I use for um, for War Z then I disable it um, your audio don't touch my any of my settings Obviously, default whatever your mic is is you want to have. You you can put push to talk if you want. Um, you can put all that stuff. I have a desktop boost of three, just for this. These are the audio things, but just so that you guys can hear like Vince and Bro and all those guys. Um, my mic uh, my mic boost I don't ha I haven't changed, just because it's not really a there's not really a necessity for it. Um, what you're gonna want to do is. Um, Sometimes it'll pop up saying that you need to put your keyframe interval to under 2. I put mine to 1. Um, your x62 CPU preset, uh, I have mine at very fast. It doesn't really... You can put it at which, whatever you feel more comfortable with. Um, whatever works for your um, for the CPU usage. So, I mean, I just want to have mine super fast, but it doesn't really matter. Um, all this stuff doesn't really matter. And... If you want to check your noise gate, you can enable your preview, and you can see on this the close threshold, the open threshold. That's not a big, big deal on anything like that. And um, then when, what you want to do is, I'll just start a new one. I'll just add a new scene for, say, War Z. All right, War Z 2. And then you go to Add Sources. If you're capturing full screen, you're going to want to do Game Capture. If you're doing... Um, a window thing you can do monitor capture so it will always capture your monitor uh, so we'll just do a monitor capture we'll call it test screen and you have this you can also cap capture sub regions so if I were to do this 
um, this is how I actually capture the War Z time stuff. Um, I just, if you click select region, it'll come up with this, and then you can click and bring this to here. It's a lot easier if you have a second monitor, because that's how I read my chat and everything. But you can bring this to here, say, um, say right here is what we want to see. Like the settings and stuff like that, you just want to put this up to it. So, but most likely if you're just getting your main screen, you just want your entire monitor capture. See how I have the two monitors. We will capture monitor two just for this. And then we will preview the screen. So it'll pop up with this. And then I'm going to go to add, say, let's add an image. We'll call it TM and you browse. It's going to bring me up to this. We're going to pick this. You can change the opacity. Um, the color, stuff like that. Uh, the color key is not really anything useful, but that's going to bring it up there. If you want to move it, you hit edit scene. You can make it bigger, make it smaller, move it around. They usually, it usually clips to uh, corners and stuff like that. So, I mean, you can do that. And, um, that's pretty much the basics. I mean, the video capture device is a, would be, um, Let's say, for example, a webcam or something like that. The game captures if you do a full screen. Monitor captures if you want to capture a full monitor. But anyways, hopefully this helps you guys. And um, yeah, it's been Trevor from Team Monolith. Have a good one, guys.